the carbon cycle. I should add that this is not what I mean by the carbon cycle. What I mean by the carbon cycle is this, although it's not yet a completed carbon cycle. We need to understand how carbon cycles between all of these organisms and non-organisms using these processes written on the screen at the moment. Consumption, which is eaten, respiration, decay, photosynthesis and combustion. First of all, the main source, or this, I think the beginning of the carbon cycle, we should take as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There's not a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but there is enough for it to be passed into the living organisms and recycled back into the atmosphere again. Now, the animals cannot do this. We cannot ac access the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We can't eat it. We do breathe it in but we actually breathe more out anyway. The one types of organisms that can do this are those that photosynthesize, whether it's microorganisms or, in this example, plants. So plants carry out the process of photosynthesis. And that is the first step in the carbon cycle to bring carbon dioxide or carbon into the organic form and the plant will make proteins, fats, DNA, carbohydrates, all containing this element carbon, which they have got from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by photosynthesis. Now, the carbon in the form of proteins and fats and carbohydrates is accessible to animals. And the animals will obtain the carbon by eating it eating the plants for example or eating other animals that have eaten plants now the one thing that all living things do plants and animals is that they carry out the process of respiration respiration is the release of energy from food plants and animals do both of this, do both do this and one of the waste products is carbon dioxide which is now returned back to the atmosphere and you can see we now already have a carbon cycle it's not complete yet but there is a mini carbon cycle carbon dioxide in the atmosphere photosynthesis into plants animals consume the plants they consume the DNA the proteins fats getting the carbon that way but both of these groups of organisms respire returning carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Now, you at this moment are full of carbon which is not getting released back into the atmosphere. And if you were to die, why well, you are going to die, but hopefully many years, that carbon that is now within you and all other living things that have died or will die is currently locked up. You also release a lot of faeces and that contains a lot of carbon as well. All that carbon is locked up in those faeces yet we don't see dead bodies walking around the streets we don't see lots of faeces because all of these decay which is a very important process that you should have looked at already. So all these organisms and all these faeces will decay. Now what's responsible for causing the decay are microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. They basically feed on dead organisms and faeces. But of course they are living organisms. So just like plants, just like animals, those bacteria are going to carry out the process of respiration and thereby returning carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. So all that carbon that was locked up in the dead organisms and the faeces is now being released back to the atmosphere. I say all of it because there are on occasions where 
dead organisms don't get decomposed directly or fully and they end up becoming fossilized such as the organisms that died many millions of years ago to make coal to make oil we call them fossil fuels and they are packed full of carbon so this is carbon that has gone through the cycle so far into plants by photosynthesis into animals perhaps by consumption but has not returned back to the atmosphere and it could have been out of this cycle for millions of years however it does get released by the process that humans carry out of combustion combustion to release energy when we burn fossil fuels whether it's in power stations factories or driving vehicles and one of the waste products of this is the production of carbon dioxide gas which now completes our carbon cycle hopefully I've got that correct and have a look at the next page just as it complete maybe a bit neater thank you